up because I realized that what was living behind that boy's eyes was purely and simply evil. Look at the Land Mask Corner. I want to say, I hope everyone's having a fantastic day today. I hope everyone's enjoying their, well, about to enjoy their weekend on a really nice weekend. Uh, hopefully, good weather by it because it's actually really nice over here today. Um, want to go over um, some behind the scenes footage of Saw 10. Um, this, this actually came from Lionsgate TikTok and. Um, a little bit on Twitter as well, or X, as you want to call it. I'm still not going to call it X, ever. Um, but, uh, so we're going to look at a few little clips here. There's nothing really crazy to grasp at here. Like, like the, There's about four, four little mini clips I'm going to show you. The last two are probably my favorite ones. So let's do the first two uh, first as of right now. So check this out. <laughs> This is a very interesting one. It looks like um, Pedersen, the main doctor, um, is taking this cover off of one of the clocks, which I guess is going to start one of the traps, one of the games that is happening. Um, I don't know if it's the brain surgery trap or, or something like that. Uh, it could be something else, um, but... You know, just a little bit of, uh, you know, a little sneak peek on what's going on. It could be that scene. Because I think that is the same clock, I think, um, the guy was looking at from the brain surgery trap to the left side on the wall. It could be. It might not be. So, I mean, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But just a little quick um, little snippet from that section. Luke! Enter! That one I actually really liked. And this is like kind of something uh, from the trailer that we did get when the doors open um, and then the chair kind of moves up. Now, I don't know if someone's supposed to be rolling this chair, if this is all mo control based uh, with a remote or something. Um, or I'm not really sure, actually. I don't know if, if it's controlled by electric. I, I don't, I'm not, you know, maybe the, the, maybe they're putting more effects in in that scene for something. Maybe there's like a track that it come, he comes out of or something. I don't know. Uh, but you know, to see scenes like this, it's kind of, it's crazy how like they use all the video format, color uh, palette format to make it look like a saw film. And when you look at this, it looks like this was taped in somebody's basement, but it's just so cool how they turn it into what they turn into. That's why this franchise is just so special. Um, but obviously the brain surgery trap is probably one of the, probably the most disgusting one, the most, most disgusting trap that we're so excited to see in this film. And it's going to be so exciting and I can't wait for it. Now I'm going to go over the last two, which I really do like. So bear with me because these two are, are, are pretty damn good and I want to see more. So let's go. Life. Baby. Billy the Puppet, have we missed you so much? And um, I'm just I'm just so thrilled to see him back again. And, you know, he has that, that epic scene where the light, you know, the door opens, the light shows up, and you see, like, the silhouette of him uh, in the doorway, and he's just sitting there on his little tricycle and, you know, is ready to bring the components for the brain surgery trap with the um, hospital uh table thing on the back of the tricycle which is so cool um i like this because it brings a little twist we've seen billy the puppet in past films like you know uh come from i mean especially saw six because i think saw six is definitely a perfect example where he um or saw or saw you know yeah i think both of those films saw six saw seven like there was different times where billy the puppet is going through a window and starts talking with a, in a cage or he drops on the ground or drops from the roof and he's hanging and he's talking. Uh, you know, I, I love those those uh, Billy uh, the Puppet moments. Um, you know, I think that's really cool. And um, I'm hoping we see a Billy the Bu Puppet type, you know, him opening his mouth and talking. Like John Kramer, I think, is one of my favorites, especially from the original. 
um, you know, and was used so many times. And I feel like there should be a mix. I mean, if they don't put that in, I'd be very surprised. Um, if, you know, you don't hear Jigsaw's voice coming out of the doll or maybe the tape player is around the doll's neck or something like that, like regardless of what's going on, um, you know. So uh, Billy the Pup is obviously, you know, one, one of the biggest, biggest, I think is very underrated um, when it comes to puppetry and how they use it in a soft, uh, in a horror movie in general. So I think that's really cool. So very excited for this one. And there is the last scene, which is the epic Saw bathroom, which we don't know what's going to happen in this place. I mean, we know, you know there's been rumors about Adam coming back. There's there's a scene that takes place in this bathroom that someone's hanging from the roof, which is an interesting one. Um, you know, so anything I, a detective, I don't know. There's going to be some weird stuff happening in this scene. I feel like there's going to be um, I don't know how much this bathroom is going to be involved in this film i'm actually really excited to see how they use the bathroom if this is the same bathroom i mean this looks like the same bathroom right because from what i could look at it right now it looks exactly the same um and i feel like a lot of we're gonna get a lot of answered questions probably when it comes to mark hoffman does he know about if, if we see a mark hoffman going into this bathroom type scene and he knew about this place the whole time there is 100% okay feeling that he survived saw 3d I'm telling you if we see Mark Hoffman even look in this bathroom walk in this bathroom help a man I mean whatever okay if anything something happens like that then that's that's crazy to know that's crazy that Mark Hoffman already knew about this place which is kind of nuts but I could be wrong what scenes are going to happen in this bathroom if this is the same bathroom we're talking about, and it's got to be, it looks exactly like it. It's not even just the lighting. I've seen people do behind the scenes of what this room actually looks like without the tile, the bathroom tile and all that. It's it's like, it's literally concrete floor and it's like a wooden wall. Like that's all it is or brick or whatever it is. And everything they add to it, the pipes, everything that's all fake. Everything on the wall is fake. But so that's such a great job though. But Wow. <laughs> I'm so excited about this. So I am majorly pumped about the Saw 10 film, and I've been making so many videos on it. I can't wait. I'm glad this movie was moved up a month earlier from late October to, uh, to late September, and I think we're going to have a really good time with this. From what I've seen behind the scenes from, obviously, some new stuff that has come out on this film, some new information that comes out each week, and I feel like we're waiting on that last bit of a trailer that we've kind of been looking for, maybe with the Saw theme in it. Maybe we're getting something fresh, something new, something to the point and more vicious. Um, they gave us the story type trailer, and I think they will give us somewhat of a horror esque, you know, trailer now. You know, I think we got the emotional side of John Kramer, the emotional side of him, and um, you know, the split between um, justice and being a victim. And I think that's what's most important here when it comes to John Kramer's character, to Jigsaw's character. And um, I'm beyond excited for it. And uh, I hope you guys are too, as much as I am. So if you last this long on this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like the video for more um, content. We just hit over 800 subscribers. I want to appreciate everybody for hitting the subscribe button and just enjoying this whole ride together as fans. And I think that's what this whole thing is about. So you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Keep running. And I will see you guys on the next one. Peace out.